Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I want to show you the RG35XX and why I think it's the best first retro handheld for anyone who wants to get into this hobby of retro gaming on handhelds. So let's crank up the brightness here. Nice. A bit too much even. <laughs> All right. So this is the stock OS that comes with the system, but I'm going to show you later how you can add garlic to your handheld for an even better experience for those who want to go the extra mile and install garlic os i'd highly recommend that so i'll put this over here for now um so why i think it's the best so if you look around you get the hdmi out you can play the video uh, on the tvs and such like that two sd cards so one's for the operating system, one for the games if you want, or you can also just put all the games on the OS as well. There's a reset button, which is nice in case things freeze, but I personally, I don't think I've ever actually pushed the reset button. I've had this thing's been pretty solid for me. A power button, and um, start select menu, menu to exit your games. And I'm pretty happy with this thing. You can see this uh, three and a half inch screen and the proper 4-3 aspect ratio, which is the best aspect ratio for retro gaming in my opinion. So in China, the largest 4-3 uh, screen that people can mass produce is actually 3.5 inches. That's why you're seeing handhelds that are only up to 3.5 inches. So when I saw the Miu Mini, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, but I want to at least get a 3.5 inch screen since it's the largest that you can reproduce at a reasonable price. It's also very affordable. This thing is um, cost about well, it costs fifty euros or so, about fifty bucks, about the same. I paid twenty five in shipping and taxes, so that came out seventy five for me. So it's about the cost of one AAA game, unlike your PS five or your Xbox. So this is really good value. All these games ready to go up to PlayStation. And they have all your basic features, both of them do. Um, you get to your recent games. So here it's called History. Here it's called Recent. And your favorites are here. So you can choose which games you really want to focus on to play. Uh, this even has a search function. And honestly, out of all these devices, I think this is the best starter device you can get right now. Uh, there will be the Miu Mini Plus coming out soon, which is very similar form factor. So it might be interesting to wait for that, or if you want to dip in right now, I think you're going to be happy with this already. So if you get one of these, I'd say this is adequate for starting out, as long as the systems you want to play are on here. So you've got uh, PS1, uh, Vertical Arcade, CPS, Neo Geo, more Arcade, Arcade, Game Boy Advanced, a Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, which is also Genesis for our American viewers, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, um, I know this is TurboGrafx-16, I'm forgetting the European abbreviation now, uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Game Gear, and Wonderswan Color. So if those are the, all the games you want to play, then you're good, you're good to go in the stock firmware. If you get one of the early models, you won't have, um, you won't be able to play in the original aspect ratio of the games. So you'll see things stretch like Game Boy and Lynx and Game Boy Advance. So if you absolutely need more systems, you'll want to upgrade to Garlic OS. And so I'd say get a device. If you're new to this hobby, get, get the RG35XX, um, play around with the stock, see if it fits your needs. And you know that if you ever want to take the next step, the next level, per se, you can always upgrade to Garlic, which I highly recommend. And if you're into these retro devices, you don't even need to think about it, you probably want to go straight to Garlic. So you have the full power retro arch behind it. So if you're familiar with uh, retro gaming, this will be very familiar to you, and you have all the power and all the configuration you want. Now let's look at going into a system. So on the stock firmware, so you go down, you pick a system you want, and then you hit the A button, and you can go down to the game you want. So let's pick, uh, let's just pick something here. But you can see there's artwork on the side as well. Driver. 
right. and you see it fills up the entire screen. You don't have the aspect ratio choice, but if you do get a later RG35XX, you will have the opportunity to change the aspect ratio on the default firmware. And here you go to consoles and you can choose Game Boy Advance here as well. And we'll just pick something here. Let's see here. Let me go down to Super Mario Advance. No, let's go to TMNT. There we go. And you see here you have the black bars, that's the proper uh, aspect ratio. And on Garlic OS, you hit Menu X to go to the uh, Retro Art screen where you have all the possible options you could imagine here. And uh, settings, and then you can set these as well. And stock firmware, when you hit menu, you have your options of exit, save game, load game, restart game, video display effect, so fast dot matrix, HD, and scan line, and what brightness you want as well. If you want a detailed analysis of um, the stock versus garlic, I made a separate video on that. You can find it on my channel. Although I've been really shocked, Black Serif has done an amazing job of repairing most of the problems I had with the system. The issue with you push it once and it moves twice, unlike the re recent screen. Um, that's been fixed. The volume has been fixed. Whatever volume you had the game set at last time, it'll remember that next time you play it. And the issue of the system being too bright. So I can drop it down here. If I go down, it gets really dim, which is perfectly playable in a completely dark room now. So, and it gets very bright as well. So you have the options. It's just menu volume up and volume down on here. And then here you go into the game uh, settings and then you set the volume, or not the volume, you set the brightness. So that's pretty much it. I highly recommend this for anyone who um, is just starting out with handhelds and they're interested in uh, um, getting one of these neat little retro handhelds. And if you eventually want to get more hardcore, I'd highly recommend the Odin from AYN. It's an amazing handheld. It runs on Android. It's a very open system. So this is an amazing thing. But if you're just starting out in the hobby, I definitely go for this. Work your way up. See how much you actually want to dig into this. There's a lot you can do here. All right, and you can start by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. <laughs> so I like it. I like the RG35 on garlic. It's very nice. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek.